Hello, how are you? This is Dr. Nandi. Today we are going to talk about week one, some chemistry notes. So I'll share my computer screen with you. Week one notes, salient, salient features of element, compound, liquid, gas, solid, intensive property, expensive, extensive property, and accuracy. So what is an element? An element is a substance that cannot be separated into simpler substances by chemical means. An example of an element is sodium, which is found in table salt. Most elements can interact with one another to form compounds. Water is made up of two parts of hydrogen and one part of oxygen. Water is a compound. A compound is a substance composed of atoms of two or more elements chemically united in fixed proportions. A substance is a form of matter that has a definite constant composition and distinct properties. Examples are water, table salt, etc. All substances can exist in three states, solid, liquid, and gas. Gases differ from liquids and solids in the distances between the molecules, which are more spursed out. In a solid, molecules are held close together in an orderly fashion without freedom of motion. Molecules in a liquid are close together, but not held as rigidly in position as solid. In a gas, the molecules are separated by distance that are large compared to the size of the molecules. A mixture is a combination of two or more substances in which the substances retain their distinct identities. Some common examples are air, soft drinks, etc. An intensive property does not depend on how much matter is considered. Density is an intensive property of a substance. Density is defined as the mass of the substance divided by its volume. Temperature is also an intensive property. <clears throat> Suppose that we have two beakers of water at the same temperature. If we combine them to make a single quantity of water in a large beaker, the temperature of the large quantity of water will be the same as it was in the two separate beakers. This last bullet is wrong because I've already identified temperature as an intensive property. Okay, so we will forget about the last bullet. Next, what is the difference between accuracy and precision? Accuracy tells us how close a measurement is to the true value of the quantity that is measured. Precision refers to how closely two or more measurements of the same quantity agree with one another. Suppose student A measures the weight of a substance in a balance twice and gets the results as 1.965 gram and 1.978 grams with an average of 1.971 gram. Suppose student B measures the weight of the same amount of substance twice and gets the results as 1.972 gram and 1.968 gram with an average of the two readings as 1.970 gram. Thus, then student B's reading is more precise, okay, more precise than student A's because student B's individual readings deviate much less from the average reading. Remember, one of them is 1.972, the other is 1.968 with an average of 1.970 gram. So student B's reading is more precise because the two readings are close to the average reading. Student C, on the other hand, measures the same amount of the same substance twice and gets the result as 2 grams and 2.002 gram with an average of 2.001 gram. Suppose the actual original weight of the substance is 2.000 gram. Then student C's readings are not only precise but also most accurate because the average value is closest to the true value. 
Okay, I will stop here today. If you have any question or comment, you can always write me a note. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate that. If you like this video, please share with your friends. You and your friends, please subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button at the bottom right corner. I come back every day with new problems or new definitions in chemistry. I also solve a lot of problems in math in statistics, in algebra, in calculus. I have lots of maths problems solved in my channel. You can do math, okay? So please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. Take care. Have a nice day. I'll see you next time.